Hi everyone! Have you ever wondered why do all DC motors have brushes? Probably not, because you've been fooled by the so-called DC brushless motor. That is actually an AC synchronous motor. Everyone is calling it a DC motor, because it usually runs from DC current, but only through an electronic speed controller that switches the direct current into alternating current with the help of MOSFET transistors driven by a microcontroller. I've searched a lot but I haven't found any true DC brushless motor so I've invented one. As you can see in this animation that I made uh, we have a battery here that uh, powers a coil here. Uh, we also have an uh, dove nut shaped magnet. Um, I've uh, put an image here to to show you the magnetic field lines of this magnet. And now you can see the coil. Uh, I'll consider it as a loop where the current flows counterclockwise. But now comes the interesting part. Uh, as you can see, the upper part of the coil and the sides of it are covered by a uh, case. This gray case is actually made out of permalloy metal. What this permalloy metal does? Well, I've also attached here a picture uh, where we can see a section through this material and uh, what it does is it pulls the magnetic field lines through it so that the space inside contains a little or no magnetic field. Uh, this way this portion of the coil will be shielded from the magnetic field but the lower part of the coil is unshielded you can see the yellow arrow as the, the current vector, the red arrow as the magnetic field vector, and of course the blue arrow as the electromagnetic force vector. So this is the f electromagnetic force that will act on the coil. Of course there will be an equal and opposite force acting on the magnet, and this will get the magnet moving. Why is this uh, shield necessary? Well, because magnetic field lines are loops and because this coil is a loop as well uh, the electromagnetic force will cancel out because the magnet is round of course it will spin as long as there is current flowing 